car hater here. You know what? I figured I'd do a little bit of bio on me. Yeah, I don't really, I don't think I really talk about myself much. I don't know who the fuck knows. You see, I got bird shit on the window. I'm just so lazy, I didn't even want to wash it off because it's going to rain. Anyway, Paul Michael's Car Connection. That's where I actually started, like in the business in a sense. Uh, trailer's gone now. The one in the back is still there. That's actually where I really started out of, that shitty trailer. And then there's a lot right up there on the left-hand side. That's where I kept all my Shelby Dodges. But yeah, he's out of there. Uh, two brothers. And uh, cheap as can be. I learned a lot from them, though. Because I learned how to be cheap and frugal and um, cost-effective. Since they're doing this Bayonne Bridge over, I don't know, they're fucking up this whole area, but... I don't think that's that's not the reason why he went out. He was just lazy. So two brothers were involved in this business, and um, one ended up, they had a big fight, like really bad. Uh, the guy, Jeff, he pulled out a piece on Curtis, like no joke, like, you know, gangster shit. They were Jewish, but Jeff always seemed like a mafia guy. It was kind of funny. And um, <laughs> one day they had a big, big brawl, and Jeff basically chased Curtis out, and Curtis ended up even moving down to Jersey, and now he's got a lot down there. It's a fucking total mess. I think I did a video on it once. I don't know if you guys remember. But, um, yeah, it, it's just crazy. But anyway, Jeff stayed there, and he never progressed. And we're going back 20 years. He just never, ever progressed. And, like, when I was down there, even in the 90s, I was having, I was selling cars on the internet, and they were like, oh, what the fuck is this? How are you having all these guys come down here? I had guys from Canada driving on down and, you know, just doing things. But Jeff never progressed. Curtis, for the first time, it's now, what is it, uh, maybe six months ago, he started putting cars up on uh, Facebook Marketplace. No joke. Like, I, I had to kind of teach him, and he's actually doing it now. And, and it's kind of, um, it's funny, but uh, Jeff would never come in. He just didn't care. I learned that that side of the car business was, fuck you. Fuck you, pay me. Okay? Then when I went to Ramsey Corp, it was a different thing. Like, hey, customer, how can we suck your dick and do everything you could possibly want? So it was a big transition for me. Um, on the style of sales. So, uh, you know, it was like a little learning curve for me, but I learned a lot from both ends. Um, working under Jewish people, it's, it's kind of amusing because they're very frugal. I mean, you know, they're stereotypes, whatever. And so much so, and I talk about this all the time, it's so funny. Actually, oh, that's right, we would come here and come for a sandwich or whatever. I used to get a roast beef sandwich. And actually, there was a pizzeria right here. We used to come here. But Jeff was so fucking cheap that he'd be like, yo, let's go for lunch. Let's split a sandwich. Okay. Like what? A, like a six-foot hero or it's, you know, you know, six, six, uh, 12 foot and then six and six. It's like, yo, come on. What the fuck? Then he'd be like, yo, you, you want a soda? I'm like, yeah. All right, get a soda. Uh, get a cup with it so we could split it. I'm like, really, motherfucker? <laughs> you want to know something? It's just comical. But that's their mindset, and that's why they're very rich, and, you know. The other thing about Jeff was he was always worried about what other people were doing. You know, knew everybody, said, hey, this guy over here, yo, 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 like, knows everything. And it's amazing when you think about that kind of stuff. People are so interested in what other people are doing. It's like they do history and background checks on people, and they really know a lot. I don't know if it's just stories, rumors, gossip, but yeah, there's a lot of people out there and they talk a lot of shit. Anyway, I just figured I'd show you that little shithole. It just went out too, um, finally out of business and he pulled out. I have no idea what he's doing. He's always worried about what I'm doing or whatever. He's a fucking hater too. But uh, he asks about me all the time. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Da, 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 da. Instead, of about, uh, instead of about worrying about yourself, but... That's a car hater. You know what? You got to respect those fucking car haters. Here you go. Hey, welcome to AutomotiveAdBuilder.com once again. Here's the asshole that runs Car Connection oh, of Staten yeah. Island. Yes, this is the dickhead that I put on Craigslist and oh, to have people oh. come down 
and he fucking rips you off on a daily basis. Right? This is the infamous Cadillac man. Yes. Jeff, you just see yourself. Yo, this is him right here, people. It's amazing that I sell cars for this total fucking asshole. He knows nothing about cars, and yet, in spite of himself, he sells vehicles.